Three, testing, testing, one, two. This following interview is for the Veterans History Project, Washington, D.C., Library of Congress, and it's taking place on January the 5th, 2006, in San Pedro. And uh, the interviewee, or the veteran's son, is Albert, A-L-B-E-R-T, Betonio, B-I-T-O-N-I-O, and his dad, who's deceased and served in war two wars, is Macario, M-A-C-A-R-I-O, Betonio, B-I-T-O-N-I-O. And I am the interviewer. My name is Robin Williams, R-O-B-I-N-W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. Good morning, Al. Good morning. Um, first, I wanted to ask you um, which t wars your father was involved with. World War One and World War Two. And did he list, enlist or was he drafted? He enlisted. Okay. Um, what did your dad do before he joined the service? He was living with his parents at home. Did, was he in school? Or? He was. He had just finished school, and he decided to uh, join the Navy to become an American citizen. Okay. And where were they living, the family? The family was living in the Philippine Islands. Why did your dad, as far as you know, join his branch of service? He joined the Navy because that was his way of becoming an American citizen. Thank you. Um, as far as uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor, uh, 1941, do you happen to know about what age your dad would be and what he might have been doing at that time, maybe in school? I know they heard it on the radio. There was no television in 1941. I, he was 50 years old, and he was at home, I believe. I can check his age for you if you'd like okay. me to. Okay. He was, at, he was at home. He had been in the service. He was out of the service, and he was just at home at that particular moment in time. Okay. Al, where, where did your dad um, serve when he was uh, in the service? You know, so m Maybe you could even tell me where he was in boot camp, in tra training, basic training. You know. Well, I think when he joined the Navy, he, his basic training was probably took place on the ship because he was, uh, at that time, all the Filipinos were uh, in the kitchen because they, at that time when he joined the service, that's the only thing they could do. World War II, he, was, uh, he landed with the 1st Marine Division in Guadalcanal. He was with the Construction Battalion. Okay, thank you very much. Um, and... <clears throat> Where did he serve? World War I, he served on various uh, ships, such as the Rochester, the Oklahoma. Uh, there's a few others I can't remember what they are at the moment, but uh, they're, they're being sent. But you, you'll get that information. Uh, World War II, he landed with, as I said, he landed with the 1st Marine Division in Guadalcanal, and he was there for the duration. Thank you. Um, and his job assignment was? He was a cook. Oh, okay. And your father saw a lot of combat probably in the service. In uh, the service, especially World War II, being in Guadalcanal, he saw a lot of combat. Um, could you discuss maybe what you think or have know, know that might have been his most memorable experience while he was in the service, or there might have been more than one, negative or positive? Probably his most memorial, memorable experience in World War I, uh, 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 well, not really after World War I, I guess, was becoming an American citizen. World War II, uh, I think it was just getting a little bit of time off in Guadalcanal and going to another island for rest and relaxation. Mm -hmm. okay. And as far as casualties in his unit are on the ships, um Probably. Uh, the ships I'm not too familiar with. Uh, World War II, 1st Marine Division, Guadalcanal, uh, the Seabees, the, a lot of them were just wiped out. I mean, it was the casualty was casualties were high, and that's in any of the naval history. Oh, absolutely. Um, do you think your dad was ever uh, fearful during the time he served in the wars? I think anyone serving in a war is fearful when someone's shooting at you. Okay, and the food and provisions where he was in different places. Well, because he was, uh, he was with, 
he was a cook with the, in, in the commissary uh, department. He, the provisions came from various sources. Some He used to buy uh, stores for the ships during World War I. World War II, I have to assume, they were sh uh, shipped in uh, and distributed accordingly. Any uh, any pastimes, recreation um, during the time he was serving? The only thing that I'm aware of that he went to New Caledonia and he bought my mother a bracelet made out of part of a Japanese airplane, a wing of a Japanese airplane. It's uh, on. It's very small, and I have it and uh, keep it forever. Which is, by the way, sitting on the table near us right now, and it's a beautiful silver bracelet. Beautiful. Um, okay. What about the mail, the mail that went out and was received? The mail that went out that my mother wrote, at times it might have been censored. The mail we received from him was censored because there was pieces of it cut out, so a lot of it didn't make sense because when words are cut out and there's big chunks of a gun, you don't know what's being said for sure. It's not connected. Right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Um, and holidays, do you think they were able to celebrate holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's? I think they might have celebrated, celebrated the holidays somehow in their own way. You look at various, you read various things and you see various pictures of service people and you see they take a little piece of a tree and decorate it to the best of their ability with tinfoil or whatever. I think they s celebrated. I know that he sent females for holidays to my mother and to various people, which I have copies of. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Al. Okay. And as far as, and you mentioned something before to me, but I'd like to get it on record here. What skills or lessons do you feel that your dad learned in the service? What would be the big S word? Uh, survival. <laughs> and how to survive, especially in World War II. I don't think in World War I uh, there, was, we, there was survival, too, but being on various ships, you were going here and there and all over. Survival seems to be the main instinct a person has. Okay. Um, where was your dad when he uh, left the service? Where was he stationed when he was about to leave? Guadalcanal. Okay. And um, where was he when the war was over? Guadalcanal. Okay. And um, in the week, days and weeks after the service, he just basically... He just came home and he tried to kick back and relax and... Uh, get back with the program to see what was going on in the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as far as friendships go, when he was in the service, did he, did he make friends? He had many friends, especially uh, when he joined the Navy, because most of the Filipinos that joined the Navy with him, they became lifelong friends. When he passed away in 1981, there was many of them who were still alive that came to his funeral, and he was 89 at the time, so it's an enduring friendship. And after the war, <clears throat> his career was... After the war and after he had time to relax and take care of himself, he went to work at Fort MacArthur in the kitchen. Okay. A good place to work. And his wartime career obviously contributed to that, because he did that. Oh, well, yes, he did. He was a wonderful cook forever and ever and ever. Mm -hmm. Thought his son had a cook, too. Right. Okay. Uh, how would you say if... Your dad was sitting here now. How would you say he would, he would, what would he say would, would be, um, would contribute to his thinking about war and military service <clears throat> as it is now, or as it has been since his service? Well, it's changed considerably. I'm, uh, he was a Navy man from day one till the day he died, whether he was in the service or not. In this day and age, it's a lot different. Uh, he would, he wouldn't probably be very happy with a lot of the things that are going on, and, and yet uh, he would accept it because he always accepted whatever uh, the rule was at the time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That, was your dad a, a member of any veterans or other organizations related to his service and, and, and went to meetings and reunions of that? Yes, he was a member of... Um, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, and he was a member of uh, the Fleet Reserve Association, and he did go to the meetings. Okay. Well, I think we've covered just about all the questions. Um, 
seems that your dad had a strong desire to serve his country. Yes. You know, and that was what kept him going there. Right. Okay, and I want to thank Al Petonio, uh, Macario's son, today for sharing with us with the Veterans History Project, and um, we'll sign off now. Okay.